How do you know when you've been shot in a World War II reenactment with thousands of people watching? Well, you pretty much just guess when you've been hit and do what looks good to the crowd. Some reenactors would disagree and say that you should only take a hit when you see a muzzle flash like I talked about in part one. Well, watch this clip from a D-Day reenactment and tell me when you see the muzzle flash. As you can see, it's so chaotic that it would have been impossible to know which one of those shots might have hit you. As you can imagine, if people can essentially pick when they get hit, nobody is going to voluntarily go down during the first five minutes of a battle that they essentially paid thousands of dollars to attend, only to lie there for another hour until it's over. So how do we deal with that? We'll follow for part three tomorrow where I'll talk about how we maintain historical accuracy without making reenactors lie in the sun for hours straight.